in times past, the Mass Sunday, celebrated on this Sunday, in the, those days it was called the third Sunday after, after Easter, but you need not worry about the calculation, the day is the same one, uh, same one. Where in a special way we remember it's our Lord himself who teaches us to consider and reflect upon these things. As we consider our Lord as the good shepherd, what does good mean here? It means everything that we can say and say about the goodness, the very being of God, an infinite charity, infinite goodness, infinite love. And so we can never really fully understand that. We use unfortunate examples from daily life, life of things that happen in our life, experiences, but they don't even begin to be far away from that stupendous mystery of divine love. A mystery which brought our dear Savior to give his life on the cross, precisely in order that he might find the wandering sheep, the lambs who had lost their way and wanted to find it again. And to do that, uh, and effectively uh, a guard over the ones who were reconciled with him required a sacrifice of his own life. People will say, that's not the way to win. But indeed, that's the first point we want to reflect upon. The Good Shepherd is the way to win. It's the only way to win, and he is the only one can do this for us. So that's the first thing that we want to think about. All the many references he makes are recorded by St. John in chapter 10 of his Gospel. This is the conclusion. It's the Sunday of the dedication or rededication of the temple, temple after its calumniation by the, by the, uh, the, the Syri Syrians at the time of the Maccabees. So we want to think about this and reflect upon it. Upon it. What did it cost our Lord to love? that he was willing to pay the cost. The second point we want to think about, that is also a part of it, not only do I know mine, but mine know me. And St. Gregory the Great makes a very interesting observation. When we talk about knowledge here, we don't mean arid, dry, impersonal, scientific research that our Lord is some kind of super psychologist who has all the answers to our problems and our, our rather, rather odd behavior at times. Knowledge is that which is at the very heart of love itself, which reveals itself, that in this case, the truth itself, the way, the truth, and the life in the context of actually loving. That is what is so wonderful when our Lord refers to himself as the Good Shepherd, calling our attention to what is really involved here, not some manipulation on his part to become the greatest politician ever to rule in the world. That is not what the kingdom of God is all about in the first in instance, but is that of, as it were, enabling us to share the joy of the heavenly table, the Father and the Son in the Holy Spirit, Spirit. And to be ready for that, that, that is the whole purpose of knowledge, know what to love and how to love him, or rather we should say how to love him who is not, who is, who is love, it, love itself, and who knows what is the object of that, uh, that, that, lo that, that love. And so he would want, as it were, as it were to uh, examine ourselves in some way that our response is, even if in the midst of difficulties and all sorts of persecution of one kind and another, other and strange behavior on part of others unexpectedly, it, it, it were, in all this, as it were, we know we have a point of reference, not only as it were, as were objective, but also as it were, which is found at the very center of that, that act, of that, uh, of that life, uh, which is the purpose of understanding, to love God above all things and our neighbor as our, our, ourselves, and be willing, as it were, in one way or another, if our Lord asks us, 
to sacrifice as he did in order that we might, uh, as it were, draw all our neighbors whom we should love as ourselves, as Jesus loves, uh, loves us, to walk faithfully in the footsteps of the sh Good Shepherd. There's also another reference here that we can meditate upon. On, of course, our Lord makes many references to himself as the Lamb of God. Sometimes it is a reference to Exodus and the Easter, uh, Easter celebration. And sometimes it is a reference, as it were, to the, to the, the uh, slave of, uh, of, of, of Yahweh, his servant. The Son of God who became the servant of his heavenly Father in order to save us. You can read it in the hem of the uh, of the uh, of the sur uh, suffering sur servant in chapter 52 of the book of I I I Isaiah. Yes, and it is this which uh, which Isaiah, which uh, John the Baptist had in mind when he said, "Behold the Lamb of God! Behold him who takes away the sins of the world world world." And then we can add, as it were, with the liturgy, with which you are familiar, and blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. That is the second point I want to call to your attention. Uh, attention. The Lord goes out, as it were, gives up his life in order to find us and successfully finds, uh, finds us in the desert, wandering around, trying to find our way back to what God originally made for us. That our Lord, as it were, picks up the lambs, each one, one, either himself or in the person of him, whoever he has appointed, bishop, priest, what not, what, what, what not. And that is, we can come, as it were, and begin to place, as it were, the following of Jesus, the, the growing in perfection and holy, holy, holiness, to be like him, to be amongst those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. A supper that is not simply to begin happening, when we reach, as it were, the other side of the shore, as they say, as they say. but it's already beginning in us when we, as it were, receive worthily holy, holy communion, the body and the blood of the of the Savior. There we encounter, as with the goodness of the good sh uh, good Shepherd, His stupendous gener generosity, and so we want, as it were, to strive always above all things things especially when after our baptism, after receiving forgiveness for our sins in the conf confessional, to walk faithfully in his footsteps, to put as it were being prepared for heaven, no matter at what moment the Lord decides as were to call us after having served him faithfully. Yeah, St. Paul wanted to be called early, early after he had been uh, taken up to the third heaven. That's the heven where God alone did, uh, or, uh, the beatific vision, a uh, 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 brief uh, 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 twinkle, but there's a wonderful uh, uh, income. And he asked, take me now, I'm, I'm tired, I'm sick. Like, and the Lord said, no, I, you have to suffer a bit more. You have a few more things that you have to do as, as, as the assistant of the suffering ser servant, namely me, me. And this is why it is so important to respect the order of things that our Lord set up, set up especially in organizing the church, not just our Lord. He could have done it all by himself. But the whole purpose in creating the, this world, the whole purpose in calling us to assist is to get us actively involved in this life. He's come for us, not for himself. He didn't need to die on the uh, cross. It is we who needed him, him in order that we might, we might already begin not only to prepare ourselves, but to enjoy the, uh, the, 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 the life of the good, good shepherd and all that it means to requite his, uh, his love as he loves, loves or does. And so finally, the brothers and sisters, we can understand why the one person who did not waver in her faith and hope in Jesus stood at his side. St. Ambrose says, no, she didn't weep because of him. You might say she was proud of him, what he was doing, and that, she was, uh, that he had chosen her to stand faithfully at his side, precisely as or were to gather together to remind us, as it were, and to help us and to sustain us in walking faithfully in the footsteps of the Good Shepherd, that we are truly, as it were, lambs, worthy, as it were, for all the attention that is being given to him. And then we can understand, what does it matter if for a little while I share the cross, 
of this, this particular kind of suffering or that particular point, the joys of being united to Jesus, the joy of, uh, of coming and being invited to the, that which is the beginning of the wedding feast of the, uh, of the, uh, of the la uh, Lamb far transcends even the worst possible suffering that could come to us, even the most tragic e event, events. There is one thing that our Lord insisted on being sure, that we are attended always in one way or another, other by the Good Shepherd. Shepherd. Let us be grateful, thank him in, uh, during what we call the Eucharist, the service, the, the sacrifice of thanks, uh, thanks, thanksgiving, thanksgiving, and truly enter deeply into that great mystery that we are made a part, a part, part of when we receive him worthily in Holy Communion. Praise be Jesus and Mary.